Hi, I'm Dr. Trevor Cates. Over the next few weeks, I wanna share with you how to eat for your skin type. And today, I wanna to focus on dry skin. If you have dry skin, I imagine it doesn't matter what you put on your skin. You can put oils and moisturizers and your skin's still gonna feel dry. Maybe it helps a little bit and you still should use a really great natural non-toxic skincare line, but what you eat actually has a huge impact on the health of your skin. So what you wanna focus in for dry skin is the foods that are gonna help hydrate you from the inside out. And a lot of people eat processed foods, high amounts of sugar, caffeine, alcohol, those are common foods in the American diet. And unfortunately, they really dehydrate you from the inside out. It shows up on your skin, especially if this is a way that you eat on an ongoing basis. So I wanna share with you a few foods to eat instead to help nourish your skin from the inside out. First of all, it's really important to drink water. You wanna hydrate. Start off your morning when you first get up with a nice big glass of water. Uh, another option, in addition to drinking water, which you should be getting around six to eight glasses of water a day, is to drink coconut water. Now this is an already prepared coconut. It's got a hole in it. All you have to do is punch a hole in it, drink out of it. This is really nice. You can also get green coconuts and just chop the tops off and put a straw in there and drink that. Coconut water is great because it's very hydrating. In addition to being a liquid, it also contains electrolytes. And we not, not only do we need water, but we also need electrolytes to keep our body hydrated. So if you can't find coconuts, you can, already, you can find coconut water in a box or um, container that's already been prepared for you, just make sure it doesn't have any hidden ingredients. You don't want any added sugar or any artificial ingredients added to it, just pure, clean coconut water, super hydrating. Also, in addition to hydrating with, with water and coconut water, you wanna get the right oils in your diet. Instead of having trans fats and things like partially hydrogenated oils or hydrogenated oils, you want to instead get more natural oils, like olive oil is a great one. And olive oil is fantastic for salad dressings or to put on your food after you've cooked it. But you don't want to put it in your skillet or in your pan as you're cooking because it doesn't handle a high temperature very well. It oxidizes and goes rancid, which is not good for you. But you can use it in salad dressings and after your food's cooked. If you want to use something for cooking, I recommend coconut oil instead. Coconut oil does have kind of a flavor to it, so if you don't like the flavor of coconut oil, then you could also use avocado oil that's been made for cooking. Um, you know, I love coconut oil so much. I actually will even spread it on my toast or, or um, put it into like oatmeal in the morning and that, those sorts of things. It can be a great place to put your coconut oil. It kind of depends on what you like. Other great sources of oil come from the ocean, from krill oil and from salmon, wild Alaskan salmon is one of my favorite foods for skin. And you can also get those in a form of a supplement. I have my astaxanthin omega krill oil that has great oils in there to help improve your skin from the inside out. Really helps reduce the inflammation, helps hydrate your cells from the inside out. So I want you to try, try this out. Get started using these in your day-to-day -day life. It's those daily choices that you make that really make the biggest difference. I hope you enjoyed this video today on how to eat for your skin type for those of you with dry skin. And if you like this and you want more information, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook because I've got many more videos to share with you. Also, I have a best and worst foods for skin cheat sheet that I want to share with you. All you have to do is click the link below and you'll get your own downloadable free cheat sheet for the best and worst foods for skin. So I'm talk about some of these foods and others. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.